Hey, welcome to Tuesday Connections. Today is Tuesday, September the 6th. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The Bible is emphatic in multiple places. You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Do not put God to the test. Except in one thing. Today we're going to talk about that. But first, a couple of uh, announcements. Leadership nominations are ongoing this coming Sunday, September the 11th, is the deadline. So if you've been thinking and praying about someone you'd like to nominate for uh, officer positions in the church, elders, deacons, we're needing one person for the nominating team and one trustee. The link is in the email below. You can check that out. Or uh, there are still forms in the narthex of the church. You can fill out a paper form and drop it in the offering box and uh, we'll be sure to pass that along to the nominating team. Also, uh, if you didn't know already, it is stewardship season. We are uh, in the process of talking about the importance of being people who are known for their extravagant generosity. This is uh, one of the characteristics of our God and what it means to be stewards of all the resources that God has given us, our time, our talent, our treasure. And, uh, and so to that end, uh, you should have received a pledge card in the mail, and we're asking that all of our covenant partners consider what their 2023 contributions will be for, for next year. It, it's a way to help our elders to craft a budget to, to, to decide what ministries need uh, special emphasis and to, um, and to pull that together so that we're as a church being a good steward of the resources God has given us. So please, if you will, take the time, fill out your pledge card. You can mail that in or you can go online. There's a link in the email below. You can fill out your pledge card online. Uh, these, of course, are always confidential. No one uh, in our leadership, not, my, not myself, no one on staff except for our financial administrator, uh, she's the only one that will see your pledge that gets entered and, uh, and everything is completely confidential so you can trust that process. But we'd appreciate that, uh, that you know, contribution from, from you uh, as soon as possible. Thanks. Uh, also, Spunky Spirits meets this Thursday at 11 a.m. In, uh, in the CLC. They're going to have a time of Bible study and a time of yummy food. And so if you're a, a lady, Spunky Spirits is a, um, a women's circle. And if you haven't plugged into that, this week is a great time. Come on out at 11 a.m. this Thursday. Get some fun, some fellowship, uh, some Bible study, and uh, you won't be disappointed. Also, because it was a holiday week, uh, we're extending our RSVP for Wednesday night dinner. If you didn't get a chance this week to register for Wednesday night dinner, you can do so uh, only today. Today only. Uh, you can go on the website, you can RSVP for your spot. Uh, and Dinner has been amazing. Chef Jeff is just putting on... Uh, some some great delicious food for our congregation, and if you're missing this, you're missing out. So come out for some dinner at 5:30. There's uh, there's activities for all ages: our children, our teenagers, our adults. There's two class, three classes for our adults on Wednesday nights. So uh, you won't lack something to do. And finally, I want to let you know that uh, we had a um, uh, an editor for the from the MDJ come out and do an article on Eastminster's 50th anniversary. That article has hit the Marietta Daily Journal this weekend, and uh, you can go online and check that out about what uh, what's going on. We had several people from our church that were interviewed, and it's just it's just great to be in the news. And so check that out, Marietta Daily Journal. Do not test the Lord your God except in one place. Malachi three tells us. Uh, tells us what that's all about in the book of Malachi, which is kind of a, a book that we don't put a whole lot of emphasis on. But in chapter 3, this prophet tells us this. There's, there's a problem going on. And um, Malachi says, For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. God is going to take care of us. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. This is an ongoing issue with the children of Israel. This is what's happening. And Malachi, another voice in the wilderness, another prophet comes along and he tells them, Return to me, and I will return to you. What, what comforting words. James picks up on this in the New Testament where he says, Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Uh, I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you say, How? Shall we return? You know, Israel's saying, okay, we want to return to you. How do we do that? How do we return to the Lord? And Malachi says, will a man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In your tithes 
and contributions. You are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe, just 10% of, of each family's income. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby, listen, put me to the test. Do not test the Lord your God except in this. Put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down a blessing until there is no more need, I will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not destroy the fruits of your soil and your vine in the field shall not fail to bear, says the Lord of hosts. Then all nations will call you blessed for you will be a land of delight, says the Lord of hosts. There's a blessing. There is, there is favor when we become a generous people. When we take a look at the income that we receive from all areas and, uh, and we give a, ten, a portion of that, uh, at, the, at the very minimum, it's 10%. And you might be at a place where you, you say, well, you know, I've, I've never given before. I've only given here and there. I'm not sure I can afford 10%. Well, and, and that may be true right now. You know, Tim, we don't, we don't go from 0% to 10 uh, or 1% to 10 unless, you know, of course, in your, in your budget you can afford that. But that's a, that's a significant uh, jump in contribution. And so let me, let me encourage you this. Take a look at what you're giving and, and what's coming in. And, uh, and maybe just make incremental changes. Set your goal at 10% and set a time. Maybe, maybe three years from now or five years from now, I want to be a, uh, a household that's giving at 10%, but, but it's going to take me a while to get there in my monthly and annual budget. You know, there's incremental steps that we can take uh, to be people of generosity, the people that God commands us to be. Put me to the test, the Lord. <laughs> my, uh, my mom used to say when I would ask her, you know, do I, do I tithe on the money? Because, you know, taxes come out before you, you get your income. So do I tithe on the money before the taxes or, or after the taxes? And, and, uh, and my mom would say, well, do you want blessing on the income before the taxes or after the taxes? So God promises blessing. And that's, that's the promise that we have in Malachi chapter 3. So put the Lord to the test in this and see if he will not bless you. God bless you, dear friends. Uh, have a great week, and we'll see you soon.